Morning guys. <clears throat> Parcels arrived. I'm going to make a little bit of room and move my glass so I don't knock it over. <clears throat> it's literally just arrived. So I've put you on the tripod on top of that advent laptop I was playing with yesterday. Which has developed this very um I don't know. I don't know what to call it. It's developed a trick where it turns itself on. <clears throat> it's done it twice since I installed Windows 10. Um, obviously I moved it off the corner of this desk over so I had a bit of room for breakfast and whatnot. And I looked down, just the battery charge light was on, as it is now. And then a little while later, after I was watching some YouTube videos, been watching some um, motorcycle videos for some reason, just to, <laughs> I don't even know what got me started on the motorcycle videos, but I've been watching them. And I just looked across and noticed the green power light was on. It turned itself on somehow, just from... <laughs> anyway. I'm just seeing if I can find a... I think the cardboard box could have been a bit, a little bit better, but road lamps are quite robust anyway, so they're meant to take rough and tumble, aren't they? Oh. As I've gone, I've got my Stanley knife. Ah! Is it no? I thought it might have been an old shoebox or something. I'll try and cut it so I can hinge it. That's my plan. <laughs> um, well taped up and wrapped. I'll give Betty Swallocks credit there. Right, well, I'm in this end, and I can see my lamps, and oh, actually bloody new. It's just a, uh, hey, we're in. Put that away. First time I've received anything wrapped in cling film. Or cling wrap, if you prefer. <laughs> there we go. That's the one I really wanted. <clears throat> this might even be an old shoebox. Look, no. Wrong depth. Well, it might be an old shoebox. Right. I'm gonna start. We'll do one at a time, so I've got some room up here. And the shadows go light less as well. <laughs> Fucking clean wrap. Well, it does the job, but it's the first time I've seen it used. If I didn't know better, I would say this is probably nearly new, or at least barely been used. I haven't got a battery handy, have I? Oh, yes, I have. We've got to do a test, haven't we? It's in one of my other lamps. I just want to... Oh, good. I was worried for a second there. I'd done the bolt up too tight. And I've got it in my um, hand. The cellar I got this from has actually reduced the solar lamp as well. Again, I got a message this morning. So, if I can find 20 quid, that might be the next one. There. 
Now, let's just take a look at this, shall we? Well, I assume that somehow that light board comes out because you'd have to change the bulb sooner or later if you, if you used it a lot anyway. I don't know how because there's nothing to get hold of. I can work it down at an angle. Ah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Ah, this one's got a solar cell on it as well. Not a solar cell. A um, light resistance, right? Need an extra torch, I think. board on the edge I'm just trying to see on the camera where is it it's right on this front edge closest to the camera it's got like a little zigzaggy line on it right next to that black transistor at the front there I didn't realize that so, if I can just get the battery on, click it, cover that sensor. Well, I know that bit works. That's good. The board works. Ah, I see. There's, the board follows these... Uh, grooves in the metalwork. It's exactly the same as uh, my plastic one. It's just metal. <laughs> that goes in there. And then to keep the battery in, you slide in this. My plastic one's got one as well. That just slides into place like that. And the bolt. I haven't got the key handy for the bolt, but it's the same as my um, navigator lamps. I have got a key somewhere, I just can't remember where it is. It's got like a little nut welded on the back there. That's a bit better. Okay, if I've got anything I can poke that with. Yep. Is it dark enough? No, it's not. It's not like the doorman. The doorman would be flashing. Let's just try turning this light off. Are we dark enough now? Nope. <coughs> Cover a lens. Under the desk it works. I'm going to try another trick up here. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, okay. no. <laughs> you just about see it behind the monitor. Absolutely fine. I don't think the description said this was um, a photo cell one. Yes, I got it right. Photo cell. Should we just? I'm just going to bring up the listing and just have a look. All right. So that's tested. I can uh, remove the bolt. I've got it. <laughs> So, 
in very good condition. Was I paid for this? I think it was nine ninety nine. See where both halves of the lamp have been sort of welded. Can't remember what they call it. Spot welded, tack welded. I can't remember. You can see the weld anyway. Let's get a bit of light on the on the old subject again. So I've got one more light to arrive. Arrive. Hey, yep, Betty Swalix has raised the price on uh, that red lamp. Yeah, he's dropped the solar one to 20, 20 pounds. <coughs> yeah, the metal one was 9 99 This one was 3 99 Did Betty Swalix save the JSP one? Was a uh, so one um, it says flashing metal ah it's the JSP steel flash makes sense it's the plastic one's called plastic flash these are very rare to find so you grab it while you can battery not supplied sold as seen payment to be received within two days of auction end Dorman Smith Traffic Products Limited, Port Southport, England. <clears throat> Take the standard Dorman bolt out. All their lamps have the same bolt. <clears throat> now, this base does have a crack in it, which I was aware of when I bought it. See. But if I put the battery in, the non-cracked side, that would be fine. <clears throat> he says. Right. Same slide switch as the traffic lamp E on the floor as well. You don't need to put the bolt in to hold the battery case on. <coughs> Excuse me. That had to work. I'm going to the desk. Hello. Or did I turn it off? Nope. No luck yet, lads. She ain't a work. Oh. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna open it up again. I might have to test it the old fashioned way, I think. See, with these boards, they've got that plastic loop there, so you can just hook your finger in and pull it out. <clears throat> are we on or off? We are off. So that's on. Turn that off.
This is awkward, huh? <coughs> I've got it to glimmer. <laughs> I'm just going to put that back in there. It's somewhere really, really fucking dark. Over under here. Is it dark enough? No. Not good. Well, I know it, it flickered on, <laughs> but I think it's these bloody contacts that give me the problem. a good bulb isn't it? Yep. Yeah. No problem. Ooh, I'm gonna have to investigate this one but I know it works. Ish. <laughs> Yep, it does have a photo cell on it, but I have got it working. Dims. How's that coming up on camera? That dims out. Uh, so I've got to have it on that side, haven't I? No, it's not going to work that side. I'll try that. Then. Now it's working. It's the only static version of this lamp I've got, and I do know the photo cell works. I have tried that. It gets dimmer as it gets lighter instead sort of going straight off yay so the switch is working isn't it really well. Burn out your battery quicker. Well, you might even be able to get six volt LED bulbs for these, I don't know. Be great if you could, wouldn't it? Yay. 
a little bit at the top there on the lens for a handle or something. You see it? What's it got written up there? Got something written on the top here. Trafilite. Dorman Smith Trafilite Products Limited. Traffic Products, rather. Southport. Conforms to BS3143 Part 2. I used to see these a lot when I was younger as well. Not so much the first cell ones, just the old flashy ones I've got in the bedroom. Well, that's good. They both work. Da da da. Da da. What is that? I don't get it. This says fourteen ninety nine. I bet that's going to be different, but when I looked in my um, eBay, that had been raised. See? Why has that got a different price on here? You get a different price there. What the fuck? Not complaining, because it's the cheaper price than the actual advert. <laughs> but, uh... Just weird. Two spam emails. What have I got in there? Ah, hello, George. Unknown battery charges. Power bike is brand unsure of model. Okay. <coughs> Quick reply. Not spam. Oof. 23 minutes studying two road lamps. <laughs> well, I've got a video right here, so I could stick this one up, I suppose. Uh, wait, Bay Swallox, you put anything else up yet? Nope. Oh, am I following Bay? No, yes, I am following Madame Swallox. Don't miss a great deal. Blah, 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 blah. Delete, delete. Keep that one for a minute. Someone in town's had their bike nicked. Chances are that we either end up abroad or broken for parts. General knowledge. Oh. Well, 
I've got no other plans today. So I think I will call it quits for this video. Oh. I just realised one of my rubber feet fell off my um, tripod. Oh, it's still standing. So, um, thanks a lot for watching. We actually, you know, videoed something for a change, rather than random shit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll um, put the keys back in my pocket and I'll poke them through the hole. And I'll um, talk to you again soon. Bye!